a very good morning dear children how are you all dear students as your half yearly examinations are completed so we are going to start unit 7 sa1 and 2 so dear students let us study about i want to be an inventor okay it is written by sachi manik and illustrated by kick the pana so what here the first stanza is you can see the diagram also in your figure it is uh, chemistry laboratory it is mentioned in the board and a lady is standing doing the experiments so what here the poet is saying i want to be an inventor and come up with innovative things innovative means dear students what do you mean by innovatives having new and original ideas like a robot that speaks italian and does my homework as it sings i want to be an inventor like grace murray hopper who made a language for machines that we use on a computer so dear students here is a question that who made a language for machines or you can say for computer it, it, he he or she is grace murray hopper third stanza is i want to be an inventor of an uncomplicated device to rid the world of cockroaches and mosquitoes and lice i want to be an inventor like asima chatterji who created medicines for cancer and others like malaria and epilepsy so dear students again here is one general question that who created medicines for cancer is asima chatterji so here what the poet is saying that he wants to be like a grace roop muri hopper and asima chatterji he wants to be a inventor fifth para is i want to be an inventor and make a mountains of cheese and time machines to use at school so learning history is a breeze history is a lengthy subjects na everyone feels problem to learn the dates and times in history so what the author is saying what the poet is saying he wants to make the poetry so easy he wants to make a machine he wants to invent something so that he can make history and learn the history in a breeze way I want to be an inventor like Sir Isaac Newton was. He worked with light and gravity and made up his own laws. Now again, here is one science question that who invented the light and the gravity? It is or he is Isaac Newton, and he also made up his laws also. I want to be an inventor and make nervous smelling socks, but most of all. some smarter toys that walk back into the uh, box i want to be an inventor i guess that facts well known so i did better stop this dreaming and do my homework on my own so dear students this is a poem that the poet wants to be a inventor and he just want to make all the things which are present around him to do the those things or talks in a very simple way but again sudden a strikes comes in his mind and he says it is it will be better to stop this dreaming these all things he is dreaming and he says in his mind that now let us first complete my homework then we will continue our dream then he will continue his dream so this is a poem that what's the poet wants to be that is inventor now dear students second topic is here about asking questions dear students the two types of questions that we can ask ourselves while reading are thin and thick questions okay 
we generally in the class or in our homes or anywhere we ask a question so there are two types of questions that we ask yeah other people ask with us first one is thick question and second is thin so asking these question help us in understanding the text better also so first of all let us learn about thin questions dear sir, students as you see in the picture there is a cheese there is a sandwich with a single slice and on the next side in a thick question side there is a sandwich with a double layer or triple layer you can say of a bread so first we will go through the thin questions dear students thin questions are very simple questions with answers that are right there in front us these questions are like a thin sandwich with only a few layer inside so they require very less thinking and have very short answers also okay what are the key features of the thin questions the answers can be found in the text itself and do not require our opinions they only have only one correct answer the answer cannot be debated and the answer are very short for example if somebody says which innovative uh, which innovative thing does the poet wants to make and second example who worked with light and gravity so these are the simple questions you can give the answer in one word also now second type of question is that is thick questions thick questions required you to think more about the answers and search for ideas in the text to support your answer also so they are complicated like a thick sandwich which have many layers so what are the key features of these th thick questions the answers use our opinions and also can be supported with details from the text they can have multiple correct answers the answers can be debated also and the answers can be longer for example from your poem i want to be an inventor you can take an example uh, do you think learning history is difficult if somebody asks you that do you think that learning history is difficult why or why not so there will be many people who will say no history is very easy but there will many people also who will say that the no history is difficult so there are so many answers so that type of questions are known as thick questions so dear students this is your alga sa 1 and 2 part of unit 7 uh, rest part means rest sa we will cover in our second session till then revise all the concept and have a good day